Well, hey, um, you know, the, the, just to start, I was really impressed with Bryant. Uh, I thought they were well coached. They really came at us. They played a phenomenal first half. They really did. Uh, I don't. I did not think our defense was great, but when you uh, when you allow a team to get a little bit of confidence going, boy, they really got on a roll. They shot sixty four percent in that first half. Um, <laughs> What I what we challenged our team at the halftime was, hey, we've been we've been the best defensive team in the ACC. We need to start acting like it because we're going to play teams that are they're going to make shots that can score inside, can score outside. And I'm so proud of the way our team responded uh, after giving up 19 points in a quarter, 22 points in a quarter, which we haven't done all year. We gave up 18 points in the second half, 11 points in the third quarter, seven points in the fourth quarter. And again, that's what defines us. That's what's defined us to this point. And again, our offensive game was going to come along. Clearly, having a player like Mariella inside was huge down the stretch and that opened up our outside game we were able to knock down shots but again the defensive end was the story in the first half and in the second half uh, and again I'm just really proud of how our team responded I know the big focus coming in was the rebounding and even though at the end of the game Brian ends up with, with two more rebounds it was it was 11 more at halftime so what, what changed in the second half that got you rebounding today yeah I don't know Marielle you want to you want to you want to take that one sure um, I think we've been focusing a lot on rebounding this this past week and in general in our practices. So at the first half, we weren't doing the best boxing out. And at the second half, we talked about how to know where your person is to box them out uh, and be stronger than them, beat them in on toughness and grab the boards because that's what we need. you got to be pleased with the, the job defensively on, on Rucker when you look at what she did last year and compared to this year. Yeah, so I'm I'm just I'm just getting the box score right here. So she got one offensive rebound, and this is a this is a player who who's one of the national leaders in rebounding. She had ten offensive rebounds against us last year in this very gym, uh, and she averages well over five offensive rebounds a game. Uh, and again, she's she's phenomenal. In fact, I can remember the one offensive rebound, Bill. It was a long one that she chased out to the corner, so she didn't get any around the rim. So if that's the only one she got, then that's a really really good job. So again, I I definitely challenged the team in practice this week because we did we did a poor job on the boards in the second half at Northeastern and this was a game where we really needed to step up our rebound and clearly the ACC is one of the most athletic physical conferences anywhere so again that was going to be something really important. <coughs> Oh, completely more comfortable. Uh, my first uh, game, I was very nervous, but of course I had the coaches and all the players that talked me through it and believed in me to uh, get into this atmosphere. And coming off each game, I learned something new from everyone. I, I get into this uh, team. I connected with this team better through time, and I, that wasn't really a big problem for me to connect with the team. So. How excited are you for your first uh, taste of ACC play coming up? Uh, yeah, I can't wait, uh, but everyone says it's different, of course. It's a whole different mentality of the game and uh, how they play the game. It's a lot more quick, tougher. You know, you can't make these mistakes because they will make you, the other team will make you pay if you make silly mistakes. So you have to be focused and 100% ready to go. Coach, um, you had 16 assists to only 10 turnovers. That, that's darn good. 15 steals. Um, then I, I look and, and they did miss ten, they missed seven out of the seventeen foul shots. Uh, what, what do you take away from, from those? Numbers? So the assist to turnover ratio is something that I think has been a calling card for us. Um, we have the uh, we look at a statistic where how many of our baskets came from an assist. And we by far lead, we may lead the nation. I actually don't know if they keep that stat. We lead the ACC because we keep those stats. Uh, we feel like the highest percentage shots come from assists. They come from passes. And so again, you see our team move the ball and create shots for each other. Um, and again, low turnovers is something we've been pushing and working on. And again, Martina Mosetti as a point guard has really come a long way from some of the, you know, some of the turnover played games she had last year to being a lot more solid. Mariella has made a big difference. She was one who turned the ball over a lot when she saw congestion congestion in the paint early in the season and you saw her tonight kicking the ball out finding her shooters and making really good decisions and then they go then they go out and you can't leave her one-on-one -on -one and she goes and scores uh, on the free throws you know we entered the week we were the, we're the number one free throw shooting team in the conference in the ACC which is a very good conference and so um, you know I, I don't know what to tell you about the fact that we missed foul shots tonight I told Nicole Boudreau you need to go get in the gym tomorrow because you know she's here's an 89 percent free throw shooter uh, who missed three you know three foul shots tonight and uh, so anyway she looked at me Said, Coach, I got you. So I know they'll respond to that challenge as well. Mariella, um, you seem very comfortable in the post. You, you're in a leadership position uh, on the floor uh, as a freshman. 
Um, and during the second half, I, you know, I saw you, you, I, you seemed to be wearing down your opponents, whereas the first half, you know, they seemed to, to, to challenge you more. I didn't seem to, to do that as much this second half. Um, yeah, uh, in the first half, they were playing solid defense, and when I was getting the ball in the post, they were coming to double sometimes. So I tried to find the shooters, and once the shooters made their shots, uh, they came off the post for me, and once they leave me open, I try to play one-on-one, -on -one and, you know, it all comes with teamwork, inside-out play. And um, what do we know about Emily? Um, do you think she'll be practicing tomorrow? <coughs> she'll be yeah, so the good news, we have a day off tomorrow. You know, she it looked like she, she came down on somebody's foot and sprained her ankle on that last play. Uh, and again, you know, we want to be conservative. Obviously, she's a really important player for us. She had a great game tonight. You know, her offensive lift uh, was huge for us. And that's no surprise to me. What, again, I was pleased with was watching her battle with Rucker, um, you know, who's, again, a great rebounder. And again, Emily, I've had to challenge on the defensive end and the rebounding. And again, for her to be playing hard on the defensive end, it allows us to keep her in the game. And so we can get those offensive points from her. Uh, so again, uh, you know, I think it's a sprained ankle. She, she tweaked it. We've got a great training staff. She wears braces. So my guess is, that that caught it and it just, you know, it'll be a little sore, but we'll get her back. Josh, one, just one more for you. On, uh, just looking ahead to Virginia Tech, I know you haven't done a, done a whole lot of scout at this point yet, but a team that kind of similar to you guys yeah. in terms of how the season started, yeah. you look at last year's numbers, look at this year, both teams with one loss. Uh, how excited are you to, to try to get a measuring stick for your team? Yeah. Look, we've, tr we've been trying really hard not to look ahead to ACC play because we need to stay focused on every single game. Because as, we, as, as we've shown, hey, Bryant's good enough to beat us. Uh, UMass Lowell's good enough to beat us. New Hampshire's good enough to beat us. So now it's, it's great to be able to look ahead. And Virginia Tech, uh, again, I, I really enjoyed seeing an, artic an article the other day uh, written by one of the ACC writers talking about a changing of the guard in the ACC and that, look, Notre Dame and some of those teams are still really good. But, hey, look out for Miami. Look out for Virginia Tech. Look out for Boston College. And it's nice to be, it's nice to be recognized in those ways. You know, the reality we tell our players is we got a lot to prove still. Okay, we're in the conversation, but now we got to go prove that we actually belong to be able to stay there. But we put ourselves in a great position, being 11-1, and one, going, going into conference play. Um, and again, the, the ACC affords us with the opportunity to, to play the best teams in the country and prove who we really are. And so again, I think the NCAA committee was going to take notice. I think the voters for the polls are going to take notice. And you know, we're, we just got to keep proving it every single night.